In a previous video, we showed you how to build and run analytics on diagrams in System Architect to color them based on information underlying the symbols. In this case, a capability map shows the costs of underlying business services based on the underlying uh, application cost. And so we have these analytics that we built that can color the symbols or place icons next to the symbols based on an underlying report that you run. In this case, we built a report to get business capabilities implemented by business services, implemented by applications of a particular cost filtering. Those same reports can be run in the reporting uh, engine, built and run here out to different uh, medium. So you can build that same kind of report here which is again business capability implemented by business service implemented by applications get the cost and then go down another level in the SQL join to get the application time period in this case and get the purchase cost and maintenance cost generate this to grid and we get this kind of output which is convenient in that uh, you can save this to an Excel spreadsheet or CSV file, but also this is a, a GUI into the uh, tool itself. So I can click on any cell and get directly to that definition. In this case, a business service, here an application uh, definition. Another way to generate these reports is to generate them to HTML. Uh, you can use one of the style sheets that we provide. In this case, I'm using HTML tables and push the button and you get this kind of output, right? Which is more amenable to uh, uh, an end user audience. So those are reports built and run in the rich client, which can be on the network with many people using it at the same time or on a machine, a laptop, what have you. Uh, you can also group those reports and generate an entire website of the architecture using the essay publisher option so that millions of people can view the architecture through a static website. You can also run those reports and view those reports in SAXT, Extended Team, System Architect sister product, its web client. So let's take a look at XT now. In SAXT, you use a browser to access the enterprise architecture. Once you log in, you can do a number of things. For example, explore the architecture and view the diagrams and definitions and edit them and create new ones. Uh, for example, let's take a look at that business capability map that we saw in the rich client. And you can zoom on these diagrams. You can open the definitions. You can edit the definitions. You can edit the diagram if you wanted to. We won't focus on that in this video. I wanted to show you the, uh, the reporting system here. So you have an ability to create a query to ask the architecture questions. So in the SAXT reporting GUI, we can build the same kind of report that we built in the rich client. We can select diagram, symbol, or definition. We'll select definition here and um, get a definition of type business capability. And for a business capability, we'll get its, for example, its name. And we can um, change the output heading of name to business capability. And here are all the other properties of a business capability we can choose from, but um, we'll go down a level in our SQL query and choose is implemented by business service in this case, and then also get its name and change the output column to the business service. And then go down one more level to um, is implemented by, in this case, an application component and get its name. And 
and change the heading to application on the output and then uh, maybe get its total cost. Okay, um, so you can see here that um, the SQL query is being written in text form for you, uh, but we don't have to worry about that. We can save that. We can save this report, uh, but let's just push the submit query button and run the report. So here it is. Here's our business capabilities, our business services, the applications that enable them, and the total cost of those applications. Uh, one of the nice things in XT is that you also get a dashboard of the report. And so you get this view of the information where you have these business capabilities. And in this case, this business capability by security has five underlying applications for the underlying business service that serves it up. Uh, you can view this in different ways. All right, show it as a donut. And then also you can uh, filter it as well. So this business capability is served up by five applications. And if I chose that piece of the pie, I can filter down on that and see just the five, in this case, the five applications that serve up that um, that business capability through the business service. So uh, that is reporting in XT and um, how to build a report through the GUI and then also how to view diagrams in XT and edit them. You can do a lot of other things in XT, uh, but that's what we want to show in this video. So um, thanks for watching.